We have had a uh, long series of discussions with the uh, with the uh, series of cabinet ministers uh, today. Um, we have had a constructive dialogue. Uh, I think it's fair to say, as you know, for us the uh, key problem with the withdrawal agreement is the uh, Irish backstop, the fact that it poses the danger of separating Northern Ireland out from the rest of the United Kingdom whilst we're in the backstop, uh, and also the potential for leaving Northern Ireland behind in single market regulations and the customs union if the rest of the United Kingdom went its own way in the future. So our focus has always been from way back in December 2017 through all of our discussions on how can we ensure that Northern Ireland leaves the European Union with the uh, rest of the United Kingdom together as, as one country. So as I say, we have had good discussions today. Uh, those discussions will uh, continue over the coming period of time. We want to get a deal. We have always been uh, in that frame of mind. We don't want to leave without a deal, but a lot will depend uh, in, in terms of what the government uh, is able to do in terms of providing those guarantees that are necessary uh, to assuage our concerns. We have pointed previously to the fact that the government has deleted so far from consideration the paragraph 50 of the December joint report, which gave a lock and a, a, a provision for Northern Ireland in terms of what might happen whilst in the backstop, and that needs to be addressed, and the overall situation of having the United Kingdom uh, as a whole, uh, a, a, the integrity, the economic integrity of the internal market utterly protected for Northern Ireland going forward. Did you